Two things before I say anything. First of all, I want to apologize for my face. Go one day without showering and, you know, this is my punishment. Just endless. And the other thing I want to um, say right away is, yeah, I know what I said about Jimmy Johnson in the last video and uh, I still have all respect for him in the world because it's so amazing what he's accomplished, blah, 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 moving on. So, following an accident in the Craftsman Truck Series race, Camping World Truck Series race, I apologize. Following an accident in the Craftsman Truck Series, Jennifer Jo Cobb exited her truck, walked up on a track, and gave Tyler Reddick a piece of her mind. Now, this is a no-no by NASCAR. And it's, um, it's... Tuesday. I don't know if there's been a penalty yet. Yesterday there was not. I'm going to check right now and see if there is a penalty yet. It does not look like there is a penalty yet. There's a it's, there's a um, there's an article that says that penalties are likely, but as of June 2nd, 2015 at 8:35 a.m. Mountain Time, there are no penalties yet, and um, hopefully it stays that way, because um, I have a few things to say about this whole don't exit your car and walk onto the track when you wreck rule. Now, it's obvious what this came from. Unless you've been hiding under a rock the past year or so, you would know that... Tony Stewart was involved in a fatal car accident in a sprint car race somewhere around Watkins Glen, New York, last she last last la, last year. Last year. It was last year. And um following that accident, um NASCAR made it so if you get out of your car under before safety crews arrive, then I guess there's a penalty. It hasn't been enforced until now. Um, so we'll see where this goes. But as far as this rule is concerned, I got a few comments on it. Okay? First of all, I don't see what the big deal is. You see... People have been getting out of their cars and yelling at each other on the track for many, many years now. Tony Stewart himself has done this. Remember when he threw his helmet at Matt Kenseth? That thing went high. Um, there was a time when I think Robbie Gordon was mad at Mikey Waltrip. Um, Jimmy Spencer, I think... It wasn't when he was mad at Kurt Busch. Someone was mad at Dale Jr. Um, Kurt Busch was applauding Jimmy Spencer for wrecking him. I know that one. Um, yeah. They, they've been doing it for years now. And it wasn't until that happened that NASCAR even started considering um, this rule. And... Um, Amazingly, there the, the 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 before like a day before the accident with Tony Stewart and Kevin Ward, a day before that, I think it was trucks at the Watkins Glen. It might have been Xfinity, but it was something at Watkins Glen. The day before this race, that a driver got out of his. Or it might have been the Sprint Cup race, I don't know, but it was it was right around that time at the very same track, Watkins Glen, where a driver got out of his car because he was mad and started shaking his fist, you dang kids, at some other drivers and voiced his displeasure. And, you know, amazingly, just uh, you, this is the craziest thing, he didn't get hit because, you know, this is the top level of racing in pretty much all of America. You know, you got the Truck Series, you got Xfinity Series, and you got the Sprint Cup Series. You could put Indy in there somewhere, but those three series are basically the highest tier for American racing right now. 
And um, they're not stupid kids hopped up on marijuana in the middle of the night on a really dark track walking across a field where cars are driving pretty fast still. Cars that are difficult to turn, you know, not just getting right up in their faces just as close as possible with three other cars barely dodging him before Tony Stewart inevitably hit him, you know. It's not like, for God's sake, the races were in broad daylight. The cars were at caution pace. The track was illuminated as much as it could be in the middle of the day. When does things happen under caution? I can recall Juan Montoya spinning into the jet dryer, but that happened. He was trying to get around the track and catch up to the back of the field. That wasn't just pacing around at caution speed. He was he was he was booking it trying to get over there when he wrecked. It wasn't like he was just driving at a casual cruising speed. It's broad daylight. They're driving slow. They can turn better than sprint cars. I don't see what the issue is here. I just think this is NASCAR trying to cover bases for Tony Stewart. Because Tony Stewart's done good for the sport. He's probably one of the better driver images, you know, like one of the best known in the modern era, like Jeff Gordon, like he probably one of the bigger icons of the 90s. Tony Stewart, one of the bigger icons of the 2000s. Tony's done good for the company. They needed to save face for him. And literally, like yesterday, I was looking at Twitter. There was an article talking about Tony Stewart and the driver's council. And the very first fucking response to that tweet by NASCAR was murderer. And I'm thinking, fuck off already. The track was very dark. You could barely see what the fuck was going on. He's walking down the track towards vehicles that are going pretty fast that are difficult to turn in the middle of the night. What did you think was going to happen? Pent up on marijuana. You can't see me, see nation I don't understand why this is a problem. I don't understand why this is a problem. I'm sorry that a stupid kid got his ass run over because he doesn't understand the concept of vehicles of when you walk into oncoming traffic. You might get hit by a car, you know. Just just the craziest thing. You walk into traffic. You might get hit by a car. It's, 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 it's. Oh man, it's crazy. Wow, I never would have guessed you could have gotten hit by a car if you were driving to oncoming traffic. You know, that's just that's just madness. Madness. Oh my goodness. I was hoping that people were more intelligent than this. But I was looking at the comments on NASCAR.com, so don't ask me why I had any faith in humanity after, uh, I expected to have any faith in humanity after reading that kind of, that kind of stuff. But I, I honestly thought people were more intelligent than that. There was even a comment on the article, the penalties likely article, that said, they should stop the pit crews from when when the race is over, from going on to the pit road and celebrating because that's dangerous. I honestly thought that was sarcasm, but there was a reply that concurred. And there was no reply after that that said, you know, I was being sarcastic. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the stupidest thing. They're, f they're adults. They are adults. Full-grown adults. I know Kevin Ward was 20 years old, but let us not forget, he was on marijuana. They're adults in the highest, in one of the, in, in, in possibly the highest tier racing in all of America. They're adults. 
They do not need to be coddled and told, hold on there, if you go onto that track, you might get run over. <sighs> Hang on there, I know you just, you are just learning to walk right now. You know not, you have no idea to look both ways before crossing a active racetrack, you know, with cars that are going really slow and can actually turn on a dime, as opposed in broad daylight! Do I have to stress this enough? It's broad daylight. They can see what the fuck is going on. I, I just, there is so much, so much about this that just screams, we're just covering bases for Tony Stewart. It's not helping, by the way. The people that think he's a murderer are gonna think he's a murderer. Okay? So, if, if Cobb or Bane or anyone else is penalized with a ridiculous sum of money. I will be quite angry. Because let us not forget that Jennifer Jo Cobb is running with, you know, pretty crap material. They're running on a pretty low budget. If they get penalized, man, they're just going to fuck them up and Cobb might be gone. And it's a damn shame, too. She should have an opportunity to spread a cup of Jan Danica fucking Patrick. Can. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure Jennifer Jo Cobb has more... has more talent than Danica Patrick in her right breast than Danica Patrick has in her whole fucking body, but I, I don't know. I don't know! We probably will never know because these penalties are gonna... are gonna, you know, send... Cobb right out of the series, never to be seen again. So that is just fantastic. Thank you, NASCAR, for creating a rule that is very ridiculous and could only be logically enforced during a night race on, like, the streets of Japan that are so tightly packed that, you know... Oh, it's so stupid. It is so stupid. I apologize for getting angry, but it's just so stupid. I have... Let's hope Truex wins a fucking race.